Thank you for tuning in to Emerge Weekly Interview Series with Women Elected Officials. We are excited to be joined by Alameda County Judge Elena Condes, who is also an Emerge California alum. Judge Condes was elected in 2020 when she became the first Latina lesbian on Alameda County bench and the first Latinx to be elected to the Alameda County Superior Court. Before running for office, she was a criminal defender for 26 years. Thank you so much for joining the judge. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to talk with you today. Fantastic. All right, well, let's get into it. The first question is sort of the big one. <laughs> the, the, the topic everybody has had in their mind all the time, COVID-19, um, who has devastating impact on every community and elected official. Um, but uh, elected officials have been in the front lines of helping families through this time. How has the pandemic affected your work and the criminal justice system? Well, I uh, I have been uh, I was in the criminal justice uh, system as a criminal defense attorney for 26 years, um, and what I was seeing there is just the the huge impact um, that COVID-19 was having on people who were incarcerated and their inability to protect themselves um, from the uh, from the infections and um, you know the changes that the courts have made and that the the sheriff's department has had to make to try and keep people safe. Um, and uh, also with, you know, changing release uh, procedures, uh, particularly in Alameda County, they changed release procedures to make sure that people weren't staying in custody uh, to risking infection. Um, I presently am in the uh, family court division, um, hearing family court matters uh, in Alameda County, um, uh, since I since I've been sworn in, and the, the pandemic is just creating huge stressors in people's families, and with the uh, uncertainty, uh, with uh, people losing their jobs, um, kids at home, uh, women women having to leave the workforce. Um, you know, it's it's been satisfying to be able to try and help people navigate through these very difficult times um, with custody issues. Uh, people are under incredible stressors now that they haven't been before. Uh, and to be able to sort of help families navigate through this time uh, it has been really nice. It's been, it's been really satisfying. Sounds rewarding, especially during the last year. Um, when you ran for office, you said one of your priorities was expanding and supporting alternatives to incarceration, um, such as diversion programs for nonviolent offenders. Can you tell us a little bit more about that work? Well, I have, um, w when I was a practicing attorney, uh, it was always my goal uh, to try and get my clients into those alternative programs. And um, what I was finding is that there is just a real lack of um, accessibility to some of those programs. Um, since I've been on the bench, I've joined the collaborative courts um, a, a group of judges who, who try and shepherd that. Um, I, haven't, I haven't attended my first meeting yet because I'm still a newbie and, and waiting for my opportunity to jump in there. Because I feel like one of the things that, uh, the, th the thing that I have uh, that that would be unique is is that sort of exposure to people who could really use those systems and barriers to entering into those programs um, for them to be successful. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to jump in and and just you know provide my perspective uh, to those things. Which is a unique perspective, given you are the first <laughs> uh, of many things. <laughs> um, so um, I know this is, was, is important to you, um, but as judge, um, how are you able to continue your work to support and mentor your young people to increase diversity in the legal field? Well, one of the things I um, uh, prefer to uh, getting on the bench, I was um, on the board of the East Bay La Raza Lawyers Association. And through the program, um, we had uh, scholarship uh, dinners, uh, raise money for scholarships for uh, Latinx students. Um, we have mentoring programs for Latinx students. And so um, I sort of take that experience and um, I recently uh, attended a meeting to uh, start having interns to be able to uh, bring in young people, um, either, either law students or college students who want to experience uh, what it's like in the justice system. Um, and in the court system and to, uh, you know, let people know, particularly 
uh, Latinx kids, uh, there's a path here. There's a place here. There is a, you belong here. Um, that, that message to uh, young people and, and in particular um, young people of color um, to know that there's, there's a place for them here. Um, and so uh, and expose them to that. So I'm really looking forward to uh, doing more of that in, in this capacity. Fantastic. That's great to hear. Um, and this is an Emerge series, <laughs> so I can't let you go without talking about running for office and your campaign. Um, it was pretty historic. Um, and first of all, do you have any advice for women looking maybe a possibility of running for office? Um, just get in there and do it. It, it is uh, what I, I didn't know anything. Um, and the Emerge program was just a fantastic program for me to learn about uh, all of the aspects of, of running uh, for office. Um, that, and, um, and just the idea, just the encouragement of uh, you can get in there and you can, you can do this. And may or may not be successful the first time, but if you, if you, you know, if you, if you utilize all of the resources that are available, particularly all of the mentoring and help from the Emerge program, um, you can do it successfully the first time, uh, which was really exciting because I, um, you know, it's intimidating. Uh, I didn't understand what the Democratic uh, uh, Party uh, was and that there were so many of them, uh, little, little groups. I just thought it was just one thing. And so that was really <laughs> for me um, and this uh, how it all works uh, how you know uh, how to go about it from you know signing signing up to um, waiting for results is the, the learning curve is huge but it's uh, I've learned so much and I'm so appreciative of, of all of the support I got from the Emerge program and the sisterhood is a beautiful thing um, to have have emerged sisters uh, to talk amongst ourselves about how hard it is um, and how challenging it is and uh, to to uh, you know be there for each other and to celebrate each other is uh, it, it's a unique uh, a unique thing and I am eternally grateful for the okay, program. So the network is magic <laughs> it does it really magic. Is. It really is. <laughs> Um, I just like a, you know, a question because you were a first time candidate in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how did you sort of overcome those challenges as, you know, a candidate for a judicial, judicious, it was a little different, right? Because a lot of judges right. are appointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, fortunately, I didn't have anything to compare it to. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it, what, what it used to be like. Uh, so that was kind of nice. So. Uh, you know, on some level, it's great because then you get to create, uh, you get to make it what it, whatever you want it to be. Um, and in those sorts of situations, I appreciate because um, uh, I, I buck against systems anyway. <laughs> it's kind of your thing. Yeah. yeah but anyway, so this is a this was a beautiful opportunity to uh, to make it what uh, what what we thought uh, would help and what what we thought would would work and, and to communicate with people and connect with people in a different way. Doing the house parties uh, by Zoom, um, on some level, the, it was a little weird, but um, they're a little more intimate. So, you know, I got to talk to uh, a, a family and they're, you know, the, I think it was like a 10 year old kid who had a bunch of questions. Um, and, I, you know, that was really nice because, um, you know, there were the parents that had been doing Zoom school, so was used to, you know, talking on Zoom. So there's, um, you lose that sort of, uh, a little of the inhibitions are gone because you're in their home. Um, and uh, that was really nice to connect with people that way. I think that made a big difference of being able to connect that way. Some pros, some cons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, For sure. 
<laughs> well, I know I personally love seeing you with that new robe on and um, the network work is, you know, the merge network is behind you and every step of your way of your new, your new job, your new, the new judge in town. Um, yeah. So <laughs> thank you, Judge Condis, and thank you for our viewers um, for joining us for the episode of Emerge at Work. Subscribe to our channel for updates and more great conversations with Emerge leaders from coast to coast. Thank you. Nice to talk to you, Eva. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judge. Thank you.